You said my right labret. Wow. <laughs> this is a, oh this is a central labret. This is a central, and then that's a right. And then this would be a left. Yeah, I think you look so good with side labrets. <laughs> wow. Now I know. You know what's great? <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yep, there's that. And I have my ears stretched to um, my base. My base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. What's the most ignorant question you've ever gotten about any of your modifications? Sometimes people will ask me if I take out my lip rings if I can blow water out the bowls. And I'm like, that's not how it works. Do you feel like you're treated differently because of the way you look? Yeah, people think that I steal things and that I am just a completely bad person. What are the type of people that t told you that? People who don't have modifications. Are they older or younger? Um, I would say older. A lot of older people raised in generations seem to think physical self-expression outside of the norm is a bad thing. And by the norm, I mean pierced ears and pierced noses and stuff like that. So dyeing your hair like a natural shade is also considered body modification. But a lot of people don't know that. There's a lot of body, some body modifications, like what I said, are a lot more socially acceptable than, say, like bigger tattoos, more visible ones, and uh, lots more. What's the most ignorant question you've been asked about your modification? Um, I think the most ignorant question I've ever been asked is how I can blow my nose. Like, I have to, like, take this out first and then blow my nose. Do you feel like you're treated differently because of the way you look? By some people. What kind of people? <clears throat> uh, ignorant people. People who aren't educated and people who think that it's uh, unnecessary. Is there, like, a physical or age stereotype for people who ask you things like that? Yeah. Like, obviously old people are going to think like that more because they grew up in a different day and age. So they think it's um, it's a little more unacceptable than younger people would because they grew up with it. So it's fun. Why do you choose to modify yourself? Because I think it looks cool and it to me it's spiritually enhancing. Do you feel like... You're like part of the fad or it's self-expression? I think it's self-expression. Okay, why do you choose to modify yourself? I modify myself because I think that I just love them. Like I don't know really what to say about it. I mean, I can't really justify my choices. It's just I think that they belong there. Like I, I feel more complete with them there, which seems kind of unjustified. Whatever. How do you think the general public views you? Like a bitch. No, I'm oh. kidding. <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, they could view me as a bunch of different stuff. It all depends on the beholder, I, I suppose. But identifying yourself using modification can never, apparently can never be simply because you enjoy it. I've heard from older people, I want to rebel, to spite someone in particular, to get attention, to be cool, or be part of a fad. To, this may be true for some, but these people need to realize that saying things like this to someone with modifications is offensive. To assume that a personal modification is just about other people, whether it be positive or negative. I, I don't know why it's so hard for people to wrap their heads around the fact that some people do like getting tattoos, piercings, scarification, and more just for themselves, and it's how they choose to identify and express themselves. I don't get why it's such a hard idea to grasp that we could still enjoy our modifications at an old age. Age is inevitable. Speaking for myself, I would rather have saggy, old, wrinkly skin with art on it than just plain old, wrinkly skin with everybody else. At 90 years old, I doubt I'll be regretting that tattoo that I got at 19. I'll be wondering where my medication is or where I am for that matter. <laughs> I think it's a good... Getting piercings is like a good um, thing to do if you're like self... if you self-harm because it's like... You put... you put art on your body, you know what I mean? Like... It's a healthy outlet. Of, yeah, instead of like cutting yourself, you're like... Actually putting things in your body looks cool and like, you can like and make feel better and stuff.
drinks. So it is that I look forward to my spillings. For I am sure that such times are the only thing steadying my head from the violent shaking. So with gladness in my heart and hope in my eyes, I drink to my fill. <laughs> Do you think you'll feel the same way about the way you look in the future? I think I will. Like, I've always wanted piercings and tattoos ever since I was like a little kid. Like, it's never changed. Like, what's going to change it now? Have you had any employment issues due to your physical appearance? Yeah, uh, yeah, have we all. <laughs> Do you think you'll feel the same way about the way you look in the future? Hell yeah, and if I don't, tattoos can't come off, so I guess sucks to be me. <laughs> have you ever had employment issues due to your physical appearance? Um, no, because I have not tried to be employed yet. <laughs> but, you know, that could be also be a uh, stereotype. <laughs> did it hurt to get that icing applied? Oh yeah, it did, it did hurt to get the S on the plot. How many sprinkles do you have? Too many for you to know, bitch. <laughs> what you laughing about? <laughs> this is my life. You're never gonna get a job. Too hard for you, too hard for work. <laughs> too hard to play. A, a lot of people's excuses for older people's ignorance towards body modification is the generation gap. And I understand that they were raised a certain way and they may not like something like that. But there's a difference between not liking it and mistreating somebody. Like, I think a generation gap isn't an excuse to be rude for some to someone. And that's not just for piercings and tattoos and things like that. It also stands for race and just different lifestyles in general. I think... As humans, we adapt, learn, and grow, and if you're using your generation as an excuse to mistreat someone, it's wrong.